In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang tanghali po, and welcome sa Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who grant us by glorious healing, remedies while still on the earth, to be partakers of the things of heaven, guide us, we pray, through this present life, and bring us to that light in which you dwell. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance that dwells apart in the woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of the old. As in the days when you came from the land of Egypt, show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin from the remnant of his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion in us, treading foot under our guilt? You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins, you will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abram, as you have sworn to our fathers from the days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all my being bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. He will not always chide, nor does he will keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he heal, does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are above the earth, so surpassing his kindness toward those who fear him, as far as the east is from the west, so far as he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please stand. I will get up and go to my father and shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Tax collectors and seniors were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes seniors and eats with them. So to them Jesus addressed this parable. A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered his inheritance on a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country, and he found himself in dire need. So he hired himself out to one of the local citizens who sent him to his farm to tend the swine. And he longed to eat his fill of the pods on which the swine fed, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, how many of my father's hired workers had more than enough food to eat, but here am I dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants, Quickly, bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with the feast, because this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the elder son had been out in the field, and on his way back, as he neared the house, he heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of his servants and asked what this might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned, and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf, because he has him back safe and sound. He became angry, and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns, who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughtered the fattened calf. And the father said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours, but now you must celebrate and rejoice because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang kwento ng prodigal son ay kwento ng isang suwail na anak na nagbalik loob. Itong suwail na anak Sinaktan niya ang kanyang ama. Kinuha niya ang kanyang mana. Lumayas siya ng bahay. At nilustay ang lahat ng kanyang pera. Pero nang siya naghirap na, natauhan siya. Nagsisi siya. At bumalik siya sa kanyang ama. Humingi ng tawad. Nagmakaawa. At tinanggap sa muli ng kanyang ama. Maganda na sana yung ending. Happy ending na sana. Pero mayroong hindi natuwa. Sino yun? Yung kuya ng suwail na anak. Yung panganay niyang kapatid. Nang marinig niya na parang may handaan sa bahay, tanong niya, anong nangyari? Tapos sinabi, dumating yung kapatid mo. Aba, nagalit siya. Sabi niya sa ama niya, ano ginagawa niya dito? Ba't bumalik yan? Pagkatapos ng ginawa niya sa atin, at sinumbatan niya, sinumbatan niya pang tatay niya. Ako, hindi ako umalis ng bahay. Tapat ako sa iyo. Lahat ng trabaho ginagawa ko. Samantalang, itong anak mong to, itong anak mong to, pagkatapos sa inyong pera, pera eh, nagpapyesta ka pa? Pinakatay mo yung pinatabang baka, samantang ako kahit bisirong kambing, di mo binigyan. Oh. 
Parang pamilyar, di ba? Kumisan, nangyari din yan sa ating pamilya, sa ating tahanan, kahit sa simbahan, kahit sa ating mga samahan. Yung mayroong mga naligaw ng landas, may mga nagkamali, may mga nagkasala, may mga nagawang hindi maganda. Tapos, natauhan, nagsisi, bumalik. Pero parang hindi natin matanggap. Parang mababa yung ating tingin. Parang ayaw nating ipantay sila sa atin. Hindi natin matanggap. Maganda yung sinabi ng ama. Sabi niya eh, yung anak mong, yung kapatid mong yan, para siyang namatay at muling nabuhay. Huwag nating hadlangan ang mga nais magbalik loob. Huwag nating ilibing ng buhay ang nais magbagong buhay. Huwag nating ilibing ng buhay ang mga nais magbagong buhay. Huwag nating hadlangan ang mga nais magbalik loob. Medyo mahirap. E sabi ko nga eh, pagkatapos ng ginawa nila, ipapantay nyo lang sila sa amin. Kaya kuminsan, it is very difficult to take them back. And sometimes, we make them feel that they are no longer welcome. At masakit yun. Pero ano kaya? Balik ta rin natin yung sitwasyon. Tayo kaya, yung nasa lugar ng suwail na anak. Tayo nagkasala, tayo nagkamali, nadapa. Tapos natauhan tayo. Nagsisi tayo. Namulat tayo. Gusto nating humingi ng tawad at magbalik loob. Siguro ganun din yung gagawin sa atin. Hindi ka agad tayo tatanggapin. Baka di tayo papansinin. Snabil lang tayo. Itsepwera tayo. Iiwasan tayo. Maging malamig yung trato sa atin. Pero kapag ka talagang taimtim yung ating pagsisisi, Tibali na, tatanggapin natin yon, Parang parusa na rin. Pero hindi tayo hinto. Maging matyaga tayo. Parang sugat yan eh. Na unti-unti, dahan-dahan, hihilom. Hindi madali. Pero kapag kataimtim yung ating pagsisisi, kahit anong sabihin sa atin, kahit hiyain pa tayo, dibali na, gusto ko nang ayusin yung buhay ko. Gusto ko nang magbalik loob. Gusto ko nang magbago. Kaya maganda yung aral na sinabi ng ating Panginoon. Huwag niyong hadlangan ang mga nais magbalik loob. Huwag niyong ilibing ng buhay ang mga nais magbagong buhay. Huwag siya tayo po tayo. The story of the prodigal son expresses in a simple but deep way the reality of conversion and forgiveness. That is the working of love and the presence of mercy in our human world. It moves us to come to the Father in prayer. We present to the Lord our petitions and our responses. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that guided by the Pope and the bishops, our priests may constantly welcome those who repent and seek reconciliation with God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the prodigal father, we may be generous in showing forgiveness to those who have hurt or disappointed us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That family members who were alienated from one another may choose forgiveness and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That sinners may be moved to repentance and seek pardon in the sacrament of penance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may reach their eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for the intentions of this Mass, and in the silence of our hearts, we now present to the Lord our own personal intentions. Almighty Father, welcome the prayers of sinners returning in devoted love to your unchanging mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. To the sacred gifts we pray, O Lord, may our redemption yield His fruits, restraining us from unruly desires and leading us onward to the gifts of salvation. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, who have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold other to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on the earth as it is in, in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with yours we spirit. offer each other a sign of peace peace be with you peace be with you peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your divine sacrament, O Lord, which we have received, fill the inner depths of our heart, and by its working mightily within us, make us partakers of its grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now pray the Horatio Imperata for our Diocese of Lingayan Dagupan. Let us turn to St. Joseph, who brings comfort to the afflicted and consolation for the sick. To help us in our needs, let us say together, St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you saved the Savior from death in the hands of Herod. Save the world from the death of COVID-19, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered to see the child and his mother born in poverty in a manger. Stay with us as we endure our crosses of hunger, joblessness, and sickness due to COVID-19, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you heard the prophetic words of Simeon to Mary that her heart would be pierced by the sword. Beg God to bless our efforts to end the pandemic to the vaccination program and observance of health protocols, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered protecting the child and his mother in exile in Egypt. Protect and shield from harm those who care for our brethren who are sick and dying, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you were anxious when the child was lost for three days in the temple. Turn our COVID-19 fears, anxieties, and depression into hope, joy, and peace, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. Let us pray. St. Joseph, come to our aid in these times of anguish and anxiety. Take us under your care as we place our trust in you, now and forever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa banal na misa at sa pagdalaw sa ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Rosario ng Manawag naway pakinggan ng Panginoon at ng ating mahal na ina ang ating mga panalangin. Mag-ingat po kayo lagi hanggang sa muli po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our sickness. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all sickness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. Yung may mga pabindisyonan po, mangyari po lamang na pakitaas lang po ng mga pabindisyonan po ninyo at huwag na po tayong umalis sa ating mga kinaroonan. Kami na po ang lalapit sa inyo. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulars, crucifix, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.